Happy Friday, this is Darren Benson again with Performance Motor Coaches. We did a video about two and a half weeks ago on this 4x4 show hauler. This is a sold unit, just wanted to kind of go through and talk about it one more time. Uh, luckily we don't have too much wind today, we'll probably get a little road noise, probably have some people complain about road noise, but I just want to go through everything. I think at that particular point in time we already had the tires and wheels powder coated and such. Uh, probably had a different wheel set, but we'll talk about this front bumper. Uh, this front bumper is uh, custom built specifically for the, the Freightliner M2. We do some rigid dually lights that are in there. Uh, there's also a 25,000 pound winch located there. Uh, there is a remote and a wireless remote as well. Which we went through and blacked out the grill. Uh, these are the upgraded LED headlights. We try to black out everything. Uh, mirror backs, all the steps. Did essentially kind of like a Rhino line coating on the tanks, uh, this particular divider right here, and the front of the conversion just for rocks and such. But it turned out really cool. This is a concrete gray that you would see uh, like in the, on the Toyotas, pretty mix, mimics that color pretty closely. Uh, storage compartments, we'll just run through this as quick, quickly as possible. Nice big open storage compartments on either side. Uh, you could add like an outdoor fridge right down there. Open storage here. Everything is nice and rhino lined interior wise as well. You could do an outdoor TV there. One of the storage compartments. Um, this is a Oasis hydronic heater. This is a 30,000 BTU diesel burner that serves to heat the coat and heat your domestic, your domestic water. The engine is uh, plumbed into that system, so you'll basically get uh, the waste heat off the motor. Uh, we'll keep this system nice and warm while you're driving up and down the road. Uh, you'll notice lots of lights down the side of the coach. These are some side guide lights uh, that you can use at night. You have some security lights as well, a porch light, and a nice 22 foot awning there. Come around the back of the coach, did a pretty simple bumper, nothing wild and crazy, just to kind of protect it a little bit. Uh, two inch receiver, that receiver is good for 10,000 pounds. Nice large storage compartment in here. You put skis, um, some outdoor goods, nice little, nice size storage compartment. We did a 50 amp buddy plug on the back, so if you needed to be able to plug another RV in, you could definitely do that, trailer and such. Nice windows all the way around the coach. Uh, that's the bedroom on the back, so it kind of gives it a really open feel back in that bedroom. More storage compartments, your store, shore connection. Uh, that's your grain, your black water tanks. Each one of those is 72 gallons a piece. You can activate the water pump out here as well. Uh, the storage tanks are heated as well. Ported the exhaust to the side just for ground clearance. Uh, the generator exhaust does hang down low there. 8,000 watt Onan generator. Decent size to run the coach. Um, nice and quiet. We have two 8D AGM batteries and we do have solar charging on the top of this. It is uh, 370 watt panels up top. Uh, well, 2000 watt magnum and power inverter. This does have auto generator start in it as well. Your diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, batteries. Of course, it does have hydraulic jacks on it. And on board here, we have a 50 gallon fuel tank on the opposite side and an 80 gallon fuel tank on this side. Probably won't be able to see in the cab, so we'll come back the opposite direction, kind of look in the cab. It's nothing wild and crazy. Uh, pretty simple cab set. Vinyl seats. Still pretty cushy. Vinyl floor and such in the cab. Uh, nicer up upgraded radio that has navigation uh, and Bluetooth built in. Uh, the We do integrate into the rear airbags so we can actually over inflate the airbags for some extra ground clearance that's pretty handy 
So go ahead and walk inside. See this nice entry door. Very, very robust, very stout. My screen door as well. Be a little bit tighter in here. I'll run the slides, or the single slide here. Very simple electric slide. Just a touch of a button, run the slide in and out. Very small electric motor that operates it, so there's nothing wild and crazy there. Uh, all the windows are double pane, and all of the shades are a day night shade setup. Corian countertops. All the furniture is all custom built for each individual show hauler here. So this is a second sleeping area right here. This is a queen size bed. It's a pretty good sleeping area up there. There is a skate hatch so you can get up on top of the roof itself. Uh, we basically built these little cushions to go into place so it will block out a lot of the heat and the light as well. So this particular cushion will block off the cab. So if you're if you're camped for a while and it's relatively cold, you can you can block out all that all the cold air and such. Uh, flip over bunk over the top here. Uh, the couch does jackknife, so essentially they're sleeping for a total of five here. On this ladder, you can move to each side there; it's not a problem. The TV itself does swing out, as does this TV right here as well. So be able to have good access to every single TV. Lots of storage. We try to integrate storage in every single square inch of the coach. We didn't have hardware on there last time, so I just, just did a pretty simple little hardware on all the drawers and such. Um, this particular drawer set is designed to be removed, and you could do a washer dryer, just a combo washer dryer right there, and still have ample storage. Uh, back behind you and underneath the sink and such. Nice size, full depth. More storage here and here. Uh, convection microwave. Just a regular electric cooktop. Nice little cutting board set. Goes on top of a nice deep sink. Uh, multiplex system so you can operate your generator, inverter, uh, all your lights uh, on this system as well. Pretty handy. Uh, makes it just makes it nice and easy to operate the coach. Uh, makes it easy to turn the coach, you know, to be able to shut the coach completely down on and off. Um, pocket doors everywhere um, on both sides of the bathroom. Pretty good storage in the bathroom as well, all the way around. This is a macerated toilet because uh, of the location of the black water tank. Uh, we were, uh, were kind of forced to use the macerated toilets, but it's nice. Um, really, it uh, makes dumping uh, your black water tank a little bit easier. You don't have clumps. There again, just a ton of storage all the way around. Integrated that into the side of the refrigerator. Kind of skipped over that refrigerator. We'll back up just a little bit. This is a regular 12 volt refrigerator. Um, this is a uh, compressor style, not the gas absorption. Much safer. Will keep ice cream rock hard cold. Whereas a lot of the RV refrigerators have a lot of issues. So this is a little bit simpler refrigerator. Uh, aesthetically, it looks a little bit nicer than what you might get on some of the residential and RV refrigerators. But I've had pretty good luck with them. Um, I will attempt to get in the shower and have Doug video. So I'm about six foot tall, right about 200 pounds. Um, ample room in here to be able to kind of run your arms around. Um, set up where you can basically use this. Uh, if you wanted to hard mount the shower head, that could be done. But a lot of people like these to be able to conserve water. Uh, regular fiberglass shower, nothing wild and crazy, but decent room for uh, shampoo, conditioner, and soap and such in there. Um, I'll come back into bedroom. The bedroom's a little tight. Uh, this total, the total conversion on this is about 23 foot. Uh, so you kind of, you make space where you can. Uh, this is a semi walk around uh, bed, but you know, essentially it's a corner bed. 
but with the amount of insulation and the double pane windows and such, uh, this bedroom is going to stay uh, really cold in the summertime or nice and warm in the wintertime. But a ton of storage here. Um, did most of these convertible where that can be used for uh, hanging clothes or as shelves as well. Same for the closets back behind you. Ton of, ton of room all the way around. Dedicated AC back here. Um, everything will vent together, but if you wanted to run just the AC back here, you could keep this thing 50 degrees or below. There again, a really large closet there that's convertible. A ton of very, very deep drawers. Um, see, a ton of storage there in all the drawers. The water tank in this unit is below the bed, so a portion of the bed is storage, a portion of it is the, is the water tank. It's a single 100-gallon 100, 100 water tank uh, below the bed here. And, you know, if you can serve, you can probably be out at least a week and a half for two people. Um, pocket door. Had some... People give us some flack over on the, car, the pocket door into the cabinetry, but I felt doing a little bit wider drawer set and closet was a little bit more important. You know, typically, two people in this in a, in a smaller rig like this can be a little bit more intimate. And lastly, the controls for the hydronic heater are right down here. Um, you can operate it off of electric or diesel and you can preheat the motor itself so if you went to a really cold environment and needed to preheat the motor off the hydronic system pretty, pretty simple you just kick on your diesel fired and then hit the engine preheat now this is a nice short video but I just kind of want to go over a few things that we hadn't gone over last time in the video uh, make sure you subscribe and like on our videos. We'll bring you some more of these 4x4s in the future. Looking forward to a similar floor plan to this uh, that will be on International Regular Cab. We'll see probably uh, the first part of the year. Keep on liking our videos and keep on coming back. Thank you.